What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel for another YZ450 Supermoto build video. Or if this is the first video you're seeing, you're in for a treat today because I have some crazy plans with this rear brake caliper and master cylinder. As you guys saw from the video thumbnail, I'm going to be Cerakoting both of these components and this is actually my first time ever attempting to Cerakote anything, but I'm pretty confident it's gonna turn out all right. Here are the two Cerakote colors that I went with and I think this combination is going to turn out incredible. I haven't seen anyone use this blue titanium on dirt bike parts yet but for this Yamaha it's going to be perfect. I have this brake caliper rebuild kit from Tusk along with this master cylinder rebuild kit from All Balls. I'm going to jump right into tearing down this caliper and master cylinder stripping it as far down as we can. Damn, that was easy. This sucker just popped right out. Using this tip was perfect, and I only needed about 50, 60 PSI to pop that thing out. It's crazy because I remember when I was doing this same project on the CR250, trying to pop the pistons out of the calipers. It was so hard. Thankfully, this one wasn't too stuck in there. A lot of the pins that came off of the caliper brackets were totally seized as you guys saw. 
But this one didn't give me much of a fight, so I'm thankful for that. Now all I gotta do is pop out these O-rings, take this bleeder valve back off, and it'll be ready to get sandblasted along with the other parts. <laughs> So I've got the parts as clean as I could and that's to help this media last longer, not contaminate it as much. But unfortunately these brakes were really crusty and as you can see the push rod is super corroded and the pins aren't in great condition either. There's also a little bit of rust that I could not get out of there. But we're going to be blasting all of that off and I'm going to do something a little weird here but I'm going to sandblast the push rod and bolt and both of these pins and then I'm actually going to Cerakote them. That should look good and actually protect these a lot more from corrosion in the future. And because Cerakote is so thin, it can actually be used on bolt threads. So I've got this plug kit and some high temperature tape and now I'll be masking everything off I don't want blasted. This blaster is so much fun and I actually made a video explaining how I set it all up if you guys are curious, so I'll link that. But let's get to it.
the parts baking in the oven over there. It's time for me to set up this new airbrush that I got. So this is something you could use to apply Cerakote and actually my friend Adam Paganelli who has an awesome YouTube channel and I'll link it below. You guys should check him out. He has used this successfully to Cerakote so I'm gonna try it myself now and we'll see how it works out. I'll give you a quick look at it. It's a very small airbrush. So I'm gonna get this hooked up to the air compressor along with this air filter right here. And then we will be ready to do some Cerakote. First I'll be using this black graphite. a genius because I just built a bunch of these shelves and I'll show you guys my new shop setup in the next video which is so sick but I saved these rails from one of the shelves as extra parts thinking maybe I could use them for something and sure enough I've made myself the perfect painting stand. I wish it was up a little bit higher but that's the only issue so that I can paint the bottom a little bit easier, but this is dope. So I'll be mixing this up at a 12 to 1 ratio, which is a semi-gloss finish, but it's also a very durable finish.
Wow, I'm so happy how these parts came out. For a first time Cerakoting, I'm more than happy with the result. It's not perfect, and you know, I missed a couple spots here and there. Some parts were a little bit lighter than the others, but it's definitely gonna work, and I did a pretty good job for the first time. Learned a lot, and I'm sure I'm gonna improve in the future. I'm so excited to get these brakes back together and see what they look like 100% complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these rebuild kits installed. These things came out looking awesome. I wish the blue was a little more blue. It's kind of like a navy blue. But anyways, my first time ever Cerakoting and I'm very happy with the results. It's a little bit light in some spots, giving it a dry finish. But if you guys have any questions about this, drop them down below. Post some comments what you guys think about these brakes. I didn't put the rear brake pads in because I'm getting some special street pads ordered from Toxic Moto Racing. And as far as the front brake setup, I'm getting a whole new rotor caliper master cylinder set up for that as well. I spent a ton of time on this video, guys, so smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this. And in the next video, we might even be taking apart the YZ450 engine. Also, I want to show you guys in the next video my new shop setup that I spent a lot of time on and just getting everything a lot more organized and myself a lot more workspace. So that's going to make working on the bike so much better and making these videos a lot more fun. Big thanks to all you guys who support this channel and all my homies over on Instagram who hit me up. You guys are awesome.